Well, hello YouTube. Greetings, greetings, greetings. It's another beautiful day and a day we have never seen before. It's, I'm so happy to be back with you today to give you another motivational speech and just to encourage you and to motivate you. As always, I do like to pray before I begin my conversations with you, my YouTubers. You know, God has been really good to me and uh, amidst all, I do not look what like what I have been through as an individual. So I just want to, I just give God all the praise, the glory and the honor that is due unto him. He is my everything. He is my all in all. Without him, I would not be here today. Without him, I could not sit here this evening giving you motivational, con I wouldn't say speeches, but motiv motivational conversations with you all. So please pray with me for those who like to pray and those who don't understand me quite well when I say I like to pray to God. It's okay. It's okay. You learn as you go along that this is who I am and I cannot change who I am. You know, I was created to be great and me knowing that there is a God and who lives inside of me and wants me to do his will. You know, I'm just saying to you, I have to. So Father, at this time I come before you, knowing that there is nothing that you cannot do. There is nothing that is impossible for you to do. There is nothing impossible for me to do because you have created me to be great, to be successful, to be prosperous, to be healthy, to be wealthy and to be whole. I just want to take this time out, God, to thank you that as I come on this YouTube channel to speak to your people, that Lord, you will help them to understand who they are, whose they are, and that they are valuable, that they are important, that they are special, that they are worthy. And so God, at this time, I take no glory for myself, but I give it all to you, that Lord Jesus, somebody who watched this video, oh God, who watched this YouTube video, video will be inspired, will be motivated and be able to pull out, oh God, and to grow and to excel and to understand their purpose and their authority in this earth realm. Thank you for your wisdom and your guidance as I speak to your people this evening in no other name than the name of Jesus. And I say thank you, Lord, for hearing. My YouTube people, God has been good to me. And um, I just came in from work. I didn't even change my clothes, but I said, I have to do a video this evening for my YouTubers. I have to I make a promise that, you know, I am back and I can't say I'm going to give you five videos per week. I can't say I'm going to give you four, but I can try to at least give you three videos per week. God has been good to me. And because of that, I have found myself in a situation where I tell myself purpose cannot die. In every one of us lies good and evil. We have to choose the good that is within us to overcome the evil. Because when we choose the good, we're able to fulfill our purpose in this earth realm. We're able to grow. We're able to excel. We're able to get to that place where we are able to manifest that which we are designed to accomplish. And so for that reason, that is why I am here this evening to say to you that it is important that you yourself know who you are, whose you are, who has called you, what you were meant to be, and to let you understand that you are great. And I, every video that I'm going to put out, I'm going to still emphasize that you are great with whatever I'm going to motivate with you with. Because you need to understand that being great 
has nothing to do just with riches that we were taught about. And so for you to be great, there are many different steps that you can take to be great. And that is you can sit still at a quiet place when you're overwhelmed, when you're stressed. This is a time when you truly, truly, truly need to take that time away and sit and meditate. There will be many voices speaking at that time. But you have to recognize and understand that you have to be listening to the true voice. Voices are always going to be there. Voices is, are voices are always going to be talking to you and um, within you. And so you have to recognize that you do not listen to the negative voices that are speaking during this time of um, stress and worries and cares. Because this is what the enemy wants. In other words, this is what society, this is what the negative side of um, you would want to go to. But I say to you, remember now, you're created to be great. And you being created to be, you created to be great means you do not allow yourself to fall um, to the negative voices are the negative thoughts that are coming to you because our thoughts patterns our lives and so we have to choose to listen to the positive thoughts that comes to us we have to follow those positive thoughts and so <clears throat> when you choose those quiet moments remember it is in those time even though there's a lot of turmoil that is going on around you. Bills, children problem, husband problem, wife problem, family problem, you name it. So many different things. Mortgages, everything coming at you all at once. But I want to say to you, if you can tell me a time in your life where worry or worries has paid your bill, then I'll go back to worrying. You see, that is also another trick. That is also a trick of the enemy for you to become negative, for you to become worried, stressed out. And guess what? When you worry and become stressed, stressed, very stressed, you develop health problems. I want to say to you, please, I ask of you, do not allow your stressed situations to cause you to get sick. As human, humans, we are created with two sides. We are created good and evil. And so it is a choice. It's by choice for us to decide not to succumb to stress. And why I, can, why I can say this to you, and I'm talking from experience. In the past, before I um, get to the level and the knowledge that God has revealed to me, I was a warrior. And I'm telling you, I develop health issues such as high blood pressure, diabetes, you know, you name it. But having learned and know what I know now, I am saying to you, I am here to encourage you. I am here to motivate you and to inspire you, to let you understand that worry will not get us anywhere. Worries get us quicker into our graves much faster. And why I say that is because some people survive, some people don't. And if there are some that survive and what happened is that their developmental issues and they can't hold a good conversation anymore because guess what their speech and everything the wonderful person that you used to be becomes depressed you you you, you start pulling away from 
friends and families and um, that outgoing person that you used to be? Change. Guess what? Worry, stress, the mindset and the problems and the cares of this life. Because I have never seen worry in a casket. Because if you worry about the bills and everything that is here, you die tomorrow, they are still here. And that's why I'm here today to say to you, it's time for you to rise up. It's time for you to get up out of that situation. Do not allow it to bound you. You have to know who you are. I know who I am. And I refuse. And like I, I said in my previous um, video, I refuse to fail. I refuse to be negative. I am called to be great. I am not useless. I am important. I am worthy. And so are you. You know, I speak these things over my life. And when I, when I become stressed and worried, I, you know what I do? When I, when I find myself getting into that situation, I play music because that's my therapy. Your therapy might be different. I have a few other videos on my channel here where I talk about um, water therapy. Um, there are many different therapy when you become stressed. So you when you get to that level, stress level, you have to regroup, reprogram your mind. Because once you, be you start becoming stressed, you find out that worry is about to set in into your life. And re getting ready to hold you back from looking beyond all of these stress and all of these worries and just looking behind them to see a better future or to even hear, you know, in the spirit, what are the steps to be taken? And so when you get to that quiet place, so early on in the video, I said to you that when you get to that stage, you are to take some time out for yourself and just take a quiet moment. And so in that quiet moment that you're taking, I am going to ask you to get a plain notebook, a notebook with lines or what our plain one. And I want you to write down all the things that worries you, all the things that are bothering you, all the things that provokes you so much that you feel like you're not able to move forward. All the voices that tell you you cannot make it and the reason why you cannot make it, write them down. And when you write them down, I want you to draw a line across them and mark delete, convert to positive energy. And then in so doing with all of these negative, take them one by one. And try to figure out, how am I going to fix this one? What do I need to do? How can I fix this one? Ask yourself these questions in those quiet moments. How you can take care of those situations. How you can fix those um, problems. Or how you can find a way around it. And write them down. I believe when you document things, when you get to another stage like what you have documented before, you go back and you pick that book up and you start afresh again and you start to write down the different negatives that come. So each time the negatives come, write them down in that quiet moment. And I would say to you, in writing those, down those um, negatives and positives, I ask of you, make realistic goals, re goals that are realistic. Don't do so, don't write down things that are not realistic and start with the simplest one first. And in so doing, step by step by step by step, you're gonna get there. I, I just want to encourage you this evening, please, my YouTubers, you're very important. 
You're special and you're worth it. You're valuable. Stop allowing cares of this life to burden you down and pressure you. And if there's someone around you that is causing you to dep be depressed and pressuring you, whether it be husband, wife, children, family, whatever it is, you have to find a way to get away from this. I cannot tell you how to live your life. I cannot tell you what to do in that situation because each to his own and each person know what they can handle. But I say to you, you have to get away from the negatives. You have to try to pull yourself away from the pressuring of others who are trying to pressure you, who are trying to, to beat you down, who are trying to talk down to you, who are trying to disrespect you and all manner of evil. Please, I say to you, my YouTubers, my family, my friends, because I call you family, I call you friends all over the world. I know my YouTube, I know these inspirational motivator motivational videos will get far and wide it may not now but i believe if we share to each and every family member or friends around um this video it will get to those around the world it's important in a time such as this that people hear and understand that they are important that they are valuable valuable they are worthy they are important they are special because you know something a lot of people are battling depression some are committing suicide so i do these inspirational videos i don't have a paper that i write things down on and to, to, to read off and to give you no i am speaking from true life experiences okay I'm speaking from true life experiences. And why I'm saying I'm speaking from true life experiences is that I am here. I was married before. And I was belittled. I was talked down to. I was told um, I had two C-section. I'm just sharing a bit here of nuggets here. I had two C-section for my ex-husband, where I gave him two sons. And it's hard for your stomach to get back to flat when you get a C-section and the type you get, I didn't get a bikini cut like that, I got a cut like this. And so exercising and all of those things, living in Jamaica, it was difficult. And when I migrate to the Cayman Islands to work, I sent for my husband, I bought him there, and we both were working together. Long and short of it, he would compare me to my friend that was living next door to my in my home. And he would say, why can't you do something about your stomach? It is so big, it is so high. And I said to him, I gave you two children and I had a C-section. I said, it's difficult for me to get my stomach flat. It's difficult. I tried and I do exercise. And I felt so depressed at that time because I didn't know how to get out. I didn't know what to do, what to do. And so I am saying that to say this to you. Please, my people, stop allowing yourself to be belittled, talked down to, disgraced, and embarrassed by whether it be women or men, because this video is not about female alone. It's about male and female. Never allow yourself to be degraded by anyone. They do not have the final say about your life. They don't. Please remember who you are, whose you are. You are chosen to be great. You are special. You're worth it. You're valuable. And remember, you are created to be great. My YouTubers, I love you. Be strong. Never give up. When the road of life seems hard and the toiling is heavy, 
step back, step aside, regroup, bring yourself back together and start again. This is my bit for today, my YouTubers. I love you. Be strong in everything that you do. I bless you and I declare and decree over you. You are great. You are powerful. You are worthy. You are important. You are special and you are loved. God bless you. Until next time, my YouTubers, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Remember to share this video all around the world so that my people, whether it be UK, Canada, Africa, France, all over the world, please share this video for them to understand that they are loved, they are worthy, they are important, they are special, and they are going to make it. God bless you.